this hour is the place we can worship again. We ask you to join us. Well, we thank you for taking out of your busy schedule to join us. And uh, we ask you to join us right now in the word of prayer. Lord God, thank you for bringing us here this day, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for the life, help, and strength you've given us. We thank you, Lord God, for who you are, Lord God. You are the omnipotent one, Lord Jesus. You are the sovereign one. Lord. You see all, Lord God, and you can all through all, Lord Jesus. We thank you just for who you are. We ask you to come visit us right now, Lord Jesus, as we sing these songs and the word goes up before you. We ask you to bless it, Lord God. Help us take it to ourselves and live out, Lord God, what we're supposed to live out. In your precious name, Lord God. We ask you right now, again, Lord God, to continue to bless us, Lord God. In your name we pray. Amen. Uh, the word we're coming from Proverbs, the 27th chapter, and I'm going to read the 1st and the 2nd verse. Yes. And even as we stand here today, that we sing, and we ask, we ask God, first of all, let us give what we sing about. We don't need just find this words coming out of our mouth. We want to live the life. And we have a lot of politician people today that can praise the most about themselves. God called it the hypocrites. <laughs> Let's not be as the hypocrites. Let's be what we're talking about. And there's a phrase back in the 90s. Let's be about it. Not talk about it, but be about it. Pray for us as we sing these songs. Pray right for you right now.
amen, on the, on the scripture, amen, the scripture will speak for itself, I believe, amen, James 2, and, uh, 1, verse 2, 3, and 4 says, my brethren, my brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the shrine of your faith worketh patience. But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. Lord, we pray today, God, that you will bless this word of God, speak in our hearts, God, that we speak to your people, God, that you might get the honor and the glory. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Let us all say amen. 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 We thank God, amen, for, for this word. I want to talk briefly this morning, amen, from, from uh, the topic, amen, our attitude controls our altitude. Hallelujah. Amen. Our attitude amen. controls our altitude. Amen. Uh, and most of the time when we hear attitude, we hear it in a negative sense. You know, you've had people, I'm sure you've had people say, what's wrong with your attitude today? Uh, you have a bad attitude. Uh, uh, what's, you, know, you have an attitude problem. Yeah. Amen. And, and most of the time when they speak of that, they're, they're speaking of it negatively. Amen. you got a bad attitude. Amen. And I'm sure all of us have one time or another been told that by somebody and we probably told that to somebody. Hey, man, you just got a bad attitude. Yeah. And, and that attitude is, is your mental, uh, it's your mentality. It's where you are mentally, amen. And, and we, we know we fluctuate mentally with our attitude. Sometimes we wake up and we're having a good day. Right. Yeah. Amen, we're having a good day. And when you're having a good day, you really know it. Because when you're having a good day, it seems that no matter what happens, it doesn't mess up the day. Because you're just having a good day. Your attitude, your, your mental, your, your, your mentality is on point that day. And it doesn't seem like that you would be broken that day because you, you woke up with a good attitude. A uh, good attitude after start in the morning. Sometimes it's off with prayer or, or scripture and, and God sets it right, right there in the morning. The good attitude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I want you to know that if you want to make it through a day, sometimes you've got to start out right. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Amen. When you start out connected, I, I, I really don't understand how people can just jump out their bed and start their day on it because it, 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 it bothers me that you can go out and then complain about your day. Because it wasn't started right. When you started right, Amen. It does 
was your way to try to break you down. That's right. right. Now God said, "Tear out your way to build you up." That's right. Oh my God, because yeah, I, I know you're a praying child, yeah. and I know that I can allow the enemy to send something away. You might go your knees, you might pray. I'm a preacher. I didn't want you to pray because somebody we to our ourselves. We really don't have a good prayer life, and some folks are not disciplined enough to pray unless they're in trouble. Uh, if, if we learn how to pray while things are going well, maybe we wouldn't have to go through so much stuff. But there's some folks who have really lost our prayer life. There's some folks that might not even pray until Sunday. Mm. Yeah. And then they're not going to pray, they're listening to somebody else pray. Mm. Yeah. But God will have to be up about our mentality. Right. 
don't look like you're gonna make it. It don't look like, but when somebody's going through something, my God, you gotta help them to change their attitude. My God, help them to realize that they are a victor, victorious. Help them to realize that they are more than conquerors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo! Let me give you more than Oh. 
built up the enemy use over me. I built up power.
that was with God. I pray that you will be with us as we go. Oh God, let your angels be kept about us. Oh God, keep us on the highways and byways. Bless us, oh God, throughout this week. Oh God, let your angels be kept about us and keep us in Jesus' name until we're able to come together again. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.